Hello everybody, my name is Maddie, and welcome back to my channel, but if you are new, Welcome to my channel. Before we get into everything today, first make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that bell to know when I post. It would just mean so much to me. Follow all of my social media and check out my merch. I will put it in the description down below. So today we have another makeup review sesh with Mad Dog, but it's not Ipsy. It is actually a company that wants me to try out their magnetic lashes. And um, I'm kind of surprised they reached out to me because I'm not gonna give you guys any bullshit. I'm just gonna be as honest as I can. And even though I got it for free, I'm still not gonna lie to you guys. We're gonna try together and see if this is a good magnetic lash brand or if I don't like it. And yeah, it's gonna be a great, good, fun time. And I am looking forward to trying it with you guys and giving my full and honest opinion. So this is a small company called Belle Chloe and they are creating magnetic lashes. So the thing that is different with these ones versus other ones is it's like glue free and like not um, a magnetic eyeliner type of thing. It's just like you have a magnetic lash that you put on top of your lashes and then these little things that you put under it that makes it stick. So we are going to figure this out together. This is what the packaging looks like. It says, wake up and make up. So I have all of my makeup on except for my lashes, which is usually one of the last things I do. So then you have the packaging right here that says the same exact thing. And then it's wrapped up. So we're gonna open this queen. All right, wake up and make up magnetic lashes. Um, how to apply magnetic lashes. Hold the applicator horizontally and connect each of the top lash, stri lash strip to the upper prong. Step two, connect the two, they spelled it wrong. <laughs> the two bottom lash strips to the lower prong. Note both two lashes strips should curve upward. Sand must be aligned. Step three, hold your applicator so the prong with the top lash strip hovers above your upper lash line and prong with the bottom strip is okay guys so the first thing I'm going to tell y'all is you're gonna want to really make the directions a lot more understandable they sent me a little demo video of how to apply these but the directions on it there's a lot of misspellings um, so that's the first thing I'm gonna tell y'all to do is make sure you get that in line so then inside the box we have a couple we have three different things we have a little thing that tells you how to do it we have the lashes and then we have this applicator so for the directions, magnetic lashes, remove lashes, hold top lash position, leave it without blinking, place bottom lash, instant volume and length. Okay, pretty much what it is, is you have lashes on the top and then once you put on the bottom. So I'm gonna open up this applicator and listen, like I said, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm just gonna be as honest as I can. So the applicator is actually like not a shitty plastic one. It's just one of these. I, I don't know, we'll see what happens. So we're gonna open this up. And these are the lashes right here. They are a little smaller. So I did more of a natural look today because if I did my big eyeliner, you would not be able to see these lashes. I already know that. So these are the lashes. They have little magnetic things on them. Like there's one on each side and then one in the center. And then what you do is you hold it over your lashes. You take these little ones down here and you put it under your eye and apparently it makes it stick. I'm going to move in a little bit and we are going to try to put these on. So first we have to take these lashes. Oh, and the one I got are the Demi Wispy ones or whatever they're called. And you hold it on your eye right there. And we put it right there like that. And then we take the other magnetic strip or not strip, the other little magnetic lash, this little thing. And apparently this goes under my eye. I don't know, this applicator is kind of making it hard for me to do this because it's like kind of chonky. I could probably just do it with my nails because my nails are like their own little applicators. <gasps> I lost it. I literally lost it. I dropped it and it's gone. I have no idea where it went. We're going to take another one. Oh God. <laughs> okay, is this right? I see, I see what they're trying to do here. You have to have that right up against your fucking lashes to make sure it's put in right. And the magnetism of these is pretty strong. I'll give them that. Like I'm having a hard time getting these apart. Come on, let's try this again. 
I understand the applicator now. So it can stick to the applicator. And I think this is what they were trying to explain in the directions. But once again, babies, the directions don't really make a lot of sense sense if I'm gonna be real with y'all. So I'm trying to put this on the applicator so I can have it like that on the applicator. It sticks to it and then we take the bottom one. All right, so we have them lined up, the top and the bottom one. So if I... Wow, that actually worked pretty damn well and it's it's staying there. So let's get another one and try to put the next one on. Guys, okay, I'm gonna be real with y'all. This is not easy application, like not even a little bit. Like I'm having like a hard time getting these fucking lashes on. I think the best route to go with this would to be <laughs> just having the magnetic lash glue cause like, or not the magnetic lash glue, like the magnetic eyeliner. Cause now these are stuck together and I cannot get them apart. I am kind of getting to my breaking moment. All right, so we're gonna try another way to go about this. They make like the whole applicator motherfucking magnetic. So I can't like, I can't like put, I can't stick it to the fucking applicator like they want me to bro. And I'm literally doing my damnedest to do it. Okay, okay, okay. I finally got the lash on the applicator like that. You see how I have it on there? And now we gotta take these little ones, which I'm just gonna take other tweezers that are not magnetic and line up the little mini ones with the other magnets. Okay, <laughs> okay. All right, so I lined up all of the lashes and the magnets <laughs> try to put this on. No, oh my God. This is fucking frustrating. I can't do this, I'm sorry. I just don't think I can do this. This is way too much work than what you would need to do for some fucking lashes. Like by now, I would have so many lashes on by now. Like I can't do this. I cannot do this. This is kind of insane. I'm giving it one more trizzle try. All right, we have it all lined up again. Is it worth it is probably what you may be wondering. And the answer is not really, not really too fucking worth it, ladies. This is really fucking hard for some kind of subpar looking lashes. It is not, it is not. This video is 18 minutes long. We are going to try again with my other eye and we're gonna try tackling it from a different angle. The magnetic applicator is kind of making me want to commit arson. So we're gonna ignore that because then you have like 20 different things trying to fucking stick to each other and it gets annoying. I would try applying the first magnetic strip to the center and then taking the other one, applying it to the side. And then the last one. <sighs> I am back. I meditated a little bit. So the first thing I have to say, this applicator is a no-go. They should not have made it a magnetic applicator because it makes everything so hard. I'll show you the closest way I could have gone with this. And this is gonna just be an honest review. First things first, you are going to take the lashes. We're gonna start with the right one and line it up roughly. This is a different applicator. This isn't the applicator they gave me. And just make sure you have your lashes exactly where you want them. And then you're going to take one of the little baby magnetic lashes and stick it. And then we're gonna take another little baby magnetic lash and stick it. Guys. I can't fucking believe how much I don't like these. That's <laughs> so <laughs> I don't want to bash a small business. I don't want to, but 
guys because like i really thought i got it down i was like okay i'm gonna turn the camera off for a little bit do some deep breathing exercises and i'll come back but there's no amount of deep breathing exercises that can make this a better product i'm really doing my absolute best i'm doing my absolute best i'm going i'm going back to the directions leave it without blinking place bottom lash instant volume and length that's all the that's all it says into the upper prong and then connect the bottom two to the lower prong and then smush it together on your lashes okay well let me fucking try it one more time one more time one more time with the fucking dumbass applicator get on the applicator miss ma'am before i fucking quite frankly bug out. I'm bugging out right now. I need to call my lawyer. Call has been forwarded to an up. Call has been forwarded to I have talked to my lawyer. And all I'm gonna say, Belle Chloe, even though their name, their name isn't even on, okay, so, okay. When they emailed me, they said their business is called Belle Chloe. It's not even on the fucking packaging. I just realized that they're wake up and makeup. So wait, I need to do some research. Wake up and makeup? Who called me? customer you are calling is not available okay then why'd you call me i don't know what's going on i don't know who these people are i don't know what's going on but this was bad i'm sorry and i am gonna post it because they told me i i have to post this review guys you gotta keep working on it the directions don't make any sense it doesn't even have your business name on the packaging so like what's happening why is it not on the packaging bro like i don't know this is yeah I do not recommend these. Not even a little bit. I don't know who they are or whatever. Maybe I'll use those lashes, but just put glue on them and use them as actual lashes. And this won't even focus on me. Like, can you just focus? I'm getting mad. Quite frankly, I'm getting fucking pissed. Yes, I'm wrapped around a blanket right now because I need this soft cradle of something comforting like my blanket. <sighs> um, yeah, that's the end of this video, I think. <laughs> Alright guys, I hope you enjoy. I will see you next week with another video. Don't get this. Do not get this. This is a makeup review sesh by MAD. Do not get the Belle Chloe lashes. That's what they're called. Belle Chloe. It doesn't say it on their packaging though, so I don't know what this is. I don't know what they sent me, um, but yeah. Alright, bye guys!